before you go up there, there is one thing you'll want to note. There's a piece of fabric lying on the ground. Spar, no man was meant to make it this far for me. You are not a man. I do not know you, but I suspect whatever brings you here that you are not friends with. He must pay for everything, his promise, and like my son. I can only hope that you complete your mission. What a fitting end to die in my greatest invention. The only thing. I was more of Icarus. Now I can finally be with him. Hmm, surprising. Just about everyone in the franchise up to this point knows who Kratos is. Literally. Like there was the, like those people in God of War in the Aegean Sea, that man who hides himself from Kratos, and that woman who runs from Kratos in Athens Town Square. Even Theseus and Well, many others, Perseus, etc. So right here you should be getting your Amaze Trophy, provided you didn't die and you used the autosave thing. The chain, Kratos. My father once told me it maintains the balance of power within Olympus. Break the chain to raise the labyrinth. Wait here. Up, I mean, down, down, and a under. Okay, we had an Icarus Ascension, now we have an Icarus Descension. This particular one is very, very annoying and rather difficult. Many people have had problems, myself and many more skilled players included. This is only due to how many obstacles are in your path. Like, you'll notice that it's far more than that of in the first Icarus Ascension. But it gets worse from here on. When you combine the amount of obstacles with how many hits you can take on Chaos, which is about three, you have one hell of a hard challenge. But I somehow got through this without getting hit once. Either way, when you when you finish this, you will have full health, thankfully. Yeah, I don't know how, but I'm not complaining. You also have full magic. If only the rest of the secret Icar sequence could be like that. So now we have to go back to the three judges because that's where the chain of balance is. As you probably noticed it before. You would also notice the onyx. Now we can destroy it. What the hell was that? I know it's a ledge over there, but anyway. So this is the final Hades Cerberus, the last, second to last boss of the game. Rather difficult and cheap and annoying. What you're gonna want to do is attack it when it loses itself vulnerable, like when it's taunting you, when it's spitting out more more Cerberus pops, and when it shakes its head, like after it gets hit with Cerberus pop. Obviously, as you've noticed, they will explode over time. Mostly if they if they are tossed, or if, another, if they hit another surface stall, like you kick one and then they hit another. Probably one of the most annoying things, at least for me, is how they can alternate between a regular pause swipe and then a pause swipe that will cause that a shock wave. That is unblockable. If they only unblockable attack by it, unless you've got the Cerberus pumps that as an attack. And after you have enough time, you'll you'll get the circle to appear. Then a stator will appear. 
Do not kill the satyr. I repeat, don't kill it. Because in the next phase, another satyr will spawn. Like, well along with the one that will always just spawn. What you're going to want to do is damage this satyr to the point where you think it's going to be killed very soon. Then you're going to want to be careful to not touch it for the fight. Like, sure, it'll make it easier if you kill it now, but it'll make the next phase even worse. Use your regular strategy, get it into the air, and then do a couple of hits, then use a circle to bring it down. You're going to want to wait for it to show itself, like taunting yourself, or like after it's done attacking before you do anything. Like that. As for the servers itself, it spits out much less pups, I think. And you're going to want to rely on your same old strategy. However, this time, you should try and use your Blade of Olympus. You, probably, you can make it through just fine without it, I have, but it'll make it much easier. And you'll be able to probably have it full before you go back up to the Labyrinth. And right here is the final, probably hardest phase. You have now two Satyrs, but what you've seen your magic. If you haven't, well, I don't know what to tell you. If you can, try and get the, the Satyrs and Servers all lined up together. So when you use your magic, you can get, take all of them out. The, um... The Cerberus's dog spinning ability is now much slower than before. After that, you can check, just take out the Satyrs with ease. Obviously, you're going to want to focus on whichever one you think has less health. Then, afterwards, just spam out Circle. Thank God. All the chests that have been here, including the Hen Helios ones, have despawned. Mean to have more XP. Well, actually, like probably the same amount as I had before, but the heat, but the chests like this now give out the same amounts as the one in the labyrinth. I'm probably gonna check out that ledge I saw on the way down in the next part. Can't believe I never noticed that. Uh, Now you can't do anything about those chains just yet. If you remember, there was onyx on the bat on the heads of the three judges. You're gonna have to get rid of that first before you can do anything. You probably can. You can get very, very close to destroying the onyx without doing any of this. But well, you but you probably won't be able to destroy it. If you did, probably respawn. And by respawn, I mean like it'll regain health. I'm not sure what the onyx it really is in this case. Like with the three judges, probably like their power source, so they can be alive. And right here you have sirens and dogs. The dogs are very annoying in this fight because when they grab you, the sirens are free to attack you, and they can deal quite a bit of damage with that advantage. So it's probably best to use your armor, your Sparta, or some other magic to get rid of the dog. Then just take out sirens as you normally would. Bamming out circle. So yeah, we're really very close to the end. We just have to finish off this, and then we're gonna go against, as you might have guessed, Zeus. Who have you forgotten is the guy we're trying to kill despite his lack of screen time. If you're still wondering if I can give any more advice on the Cerberus, don't be afraid to use your bowl of Apollo. Just make sure you use it from a distance. Like at level like even level like especially leveled up, it's pretty powerful. 
even if it's not, it's still useful due to the whole infinite thing. And from the look of it, I'm not going to have my Nemesis whip of them at all. Well, if I want to have my Claws of Hades maxed out, which I do. And you don't want to use your Nemesis Roar on these guys with shields just yet. You'll want to wait. There's a better opportunity for that later.